How's it going everyone? This is Mark with At Tech. In this video, we are taking a look at more on the Mac OS Big Sur beta. In the last video, we took a look at the icons and some of the visual overhauls of the operating system. But today we're gonna to be looking at the new sounds. First of all, a big thank you to all your support on the last two videos, the iOS 14 and Mac OS Big Sur beta first looks. If you haven't seen those, links will be down below. It's really awesome hearing your feedback and what you thought about the updates. And today we're taking a look at the new sounds. This isn't something that they really talked about, but there are a couple of new things to go along with the very much overhauled user interface. And the very first sound starts off with what happens when you turn the computer on. As soon as it turns on, we get our chime. It's finally back. We finally have our boot chime on the newer Macs. This is something that they've got rid of around 2016 when the new MacBook Pro came out and now we finally got our boot chime back. It's pretty awesome. So I am booted into the operating system and let's take a look at some of the new changes to sounds. There are three major sounds that you will notice when you use the operating system. That is deleting a file, moving a file, and emptying the trash. On top of that, we get a bunch of new notification and alert sounds as well on the operating system. So first of all, let's take a look at what happens when we delete a file. You can hear that almost sounds like a snare drum. It's doesn't really sound like trash can. I, I really like the sounds already, especially the crumpling of the paper when you delete something. I thought that was cool. Just goes with the wacky icons, I guess. Um, and if we restore these files, which is also the same thing as moving a file, we get the sound. Again, interesting, not as bad. I, I like the sound, it's, it's not bad. And if I delete this again, and then we'll go ahead and empty the trash. Sounds like someone closed the door on that one. <laughs> it's, a, it's an interesting sound. Um, so those are really the only sounds. You may not actually know this, but you do have a uh, volume sound. So when you change the volume, it does give you an auditory playback that is disabled by default and it's been that way for several years. I like it on, but that sound has not changed. They changed that and I believe El Capitan maybe, um, from the clicking to now it's new popping. Um, so it did change at one point, it just didn't change this version. But if we go to system preferences and click on our sound, we have sound effects as we always have, but now we have a bunch of different ones. So I'll just roll through all these, let you hear them and take a look at all of these new alert sounds. A couple of these were in previous versions like Susumi. I think it's a little bit different, but some of the names are the same. I think almost all of the sounds are different. And I guess that's really it. Um, it's a couple of minor adjustments. I always enjoy new sounds, get tired of the same with the old ones. Like the Apple Watch has had the same sound for six years now, and I'm ready for something different. I'm glad we got something different on this. Um, mainly, we get our boot chime back, which is pretty cool. I like that, especially when it comes to fixing and diagnosing computers. If you get a boot chime, you know you have one issue versus if you don't get a boot chime, it helps when fixing these. Um, we also got new file moved. I think that's pretty good. And then delete and clear trash, those are new. And then we get a bunch of alert sounds. So those are a couple of things to look out for. Other than that, not a lot of changes to much else. If you have any new discoveries, let me know. And we can make a video on that if you want. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's all for the video. Thank you for watching as always. This is Mark with At Tech, and I will see you in the next one.